Welcome to Alleycat Music Studios. We've got a little Sibelius tutorial for you here today. And we're going to be talking about chord symbols and uh, how to take those pesky guitar diagrams off of Sibelius. So if you're on the default uh, Sibelius settings, you might be a little bit frustrated. You probably, as a band leader, would want to uh, give your musicians chord symbols like the ones that you see here. But uh, Sibelius has the tendency to put a, a nasty little chord diagram there that uh, I'm sure uh, most of the guitar players you're working with know how to play already. So here's how to change those, uh, those settings. And uh, basically it all comes down to engraving rules. So we're going to show you how to do that. Okay, so we're going to get started with our composition. And to start off, I'm just going to hit the letter B nice and quick. And... That's my melody right there, the uh, magic of composition. Okay, so I have no key signature. This is probably in the key of C, making the first chord possibly a C major 7. Now, um, without a mouse, or if you, if you just like to get a, a chord symbol up there, the shortcut is Control K. Again, that's Control K. And now I'm ready to type in C major 7. Uh, another way that uh, you could do that is actually by hitting uh, Shift 6 uh, once, you're, uh, once you've typed C. And uh, in old Sibelius versions, that gave you a triangle indicating the C major 7. And this is where we now need our engraving rules. So what you have to do is uh, go to the Appearance tab at the top and uh, then scroll left over to Engraving Rules. Okay, once you've clicked on engraving rules, you're going to see this uh, menu come up. And uh, just a few spots down there on the list, you can see where it says chord symbols. You click on that, and that's where you get your options of uh, the different ways to, uh, to spell a chord symbol. Okay, I don't want to leave you hanging with that C major 7 chord, so I'm going to show you how to, uh, how to change it. I've, uh, I'm looking right here at major 7th chord specifically, but of course you can adjust all kinds of things like you see on the screen there, alterations, uh, minor chord and stuff like that. Uh, so right now uh, the button is highlighted on C major 7. I'm going to change that over to the C triangle uh, where it says bass line there. And uh, that's going to give me a, a nice little triangle indicating the C major 7 instead. It's going to be a little bit neater on the page. All right, as you can see now, the world's most interesting melody has a uh, C major 7 chord with a triangle indicating the major 7 instead. Uh, that previous menu that we looked at is the same spot where you can uh, add chord symbols or sorry, chord diagrams for guitar students uh, or take them off if, uh, if you don't want them there. So I hope that was helpful. Uh, enjoy your engraving rules with Sibelius.